So I'm always looking to discuss ways Nintendo could make more use of their IPs. And during an interview recently, the CEO of Integrate, uh, the team behind games like Blaster Master Zero, uh, Mighty Number no. 9, which maybe uh, we won't emphasize that one. Don't want to see any uh, anime fans get triggered. Uh, and one of the best Castlevania games of all time, uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, just to name a few. And he was asked if he was given the chance to remake any classic Nintendo game, what would it be? And he said definitively Zelda 2. This made me think about a few things. First of all, uh, a Zelda 2 remake, uh, just in general, I think uh, this game is a, a fantastic candidate for a remake and would be a little different for uh, video game remakes in general. Typically, it seems like we mostly see the best games or, or more so the most popular games from the past as the ones getting full-on remakes, the, the ones people have the most nostalgia for, uh, and that certainly is not Zelda 2. However, and this is how I feel about movie remakes too, I think there is something to giving new life to a game that is maybe not remembered the fondest, uh, maybe it had a few issues that kept it from being truly great, or time just hasn't been very kind to it, which I think is a problem for Zelda 2 with uh, the direction the series ended up taking after that. Uh, and a remake would certainly reinvigorate the game and could very well lead a lot of people to give it uh, more appreciation as an entry in this classic series. The Zelda franchise is one of the biggest brands Nintendo has, so I don't think you'd be dealing with much risk here, like it's not going to cost much to remake this game, assuming you don't go crazy with it, obviously. Uh, if you wanted something way different and more modern, yeah, that's costly. But going that uh, similar side-scroller approach, and I think you'd be fine. Uh, and, I, I, and I think that's what people would prefer, right? Uh, like, the thing that made Zelda 2 stand out so much, for better or worse, uh, was that it was a side-scroller. And if you redid it as something more traditional or, like I said, modernize it, at that point it's like, what's the point of even remaking the game at all? Just make a new Zelda game. And furthermore, games like this could serve as great little releases to sort of hold players over in these downtimes like we've seen over the past few months. Uh, I know every time you mention things have been slow in terms of releases, and someone in the comments will list every game, including every single indie game that has been released. But being honest, uh, there hasn't been much on the Switch over the past few months. Uh, and going even further, people really weren't that blown away by Nintendo's E3 presentation this year. If you want proof of that, just look at how quickly fans went to salivating for info on the next Nintendo Direct. I feel like the E3 Direct didn't even end before I saw people talking about when the next one would be. Uh, and at a time like this, throwing a smaller remake out there could tide people over. And it would also be in a great position to be successful. Obviously, now as we get ready to enter August, the releases are going to start ramping up, and that will persist through the holidays. But during these times where you don't have any uh, big first-party releases or exclusives, uh, a simple game like this could generate quite a few sales, I think. Also, this can go a long way into bringing characters and franchises who perhaps haven't been in the limelight for a while back into it uh, in anticipation for a big release. I think a fine example of this was the recent uh, Metroid Samus Returns. Samus and the Metroid series have been barely used for, god, almost a decade at this point. And now, Nintendo aims to bring it back with Metroid Prime 4, which hopefully will be the grandiose, awesome, AAA, high-budget return that Samus deserves. But Samus Returns was a cheaper way to sort of reintroduce her to people who, honestly, may not know much about her beyond being that Space Marine chick from Smash Brothers. I mean, one of the franchises I always think of with something like this is F-Zero. I'd personally love to see a new F-Zero game, but I also see why Nintendo might not have faith in something like that actually selling. At least not enough to justify a big budget game. But maybe they do a remake or remaster, whatever, the lines are kind of starting to blur between the two lately. Uh, maybe like a remaster in the sense of what Activision did with Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, for say, F-Zero GX on the GameCube, perhaps. Something like that wouldn't be as big of an investment for them to sort of test the waters to see what the reception is like. And if people go for it, if the game sells well, then you can go ahead and greenlight a more big-budget follow-up. Uh, and bringing it back around to the beginning, these indies being asked about it, now with Nintendo being a bit more lax with opening up their franchises, 
bringing more people in to work on them, uh, making their own games with Nintendo characters. I would totally be down for doing more of this stuff with these kinds of devs. Of course, the ones that make sense. Again, not to fangirl too much, but uh, if they were to, say, try to revitalize F-Zero, the first call I'd make would be to Shinnin, the guys who do the fast racing games, like Fast Racing RMX on the Switch. They'd be perfect to work on an F-Zero game. That's obviously the sort of game they're into making. The only thing I'd really think you're at risk of with this sort of stuff is overexposure. Something like Zelda is partly special because we don't see Zelda games too often. Uh, you don't want to get carried away remaking everything and flooding the market. And of course, uh, like I said, picking the right teams to work on this stuff. But yeah, I really think Nintendo should consider doing more remakes. I think it could be a great way to help that flow of games without breaking the bank. Uh, and they could use more of these trustworthy indies to help out with them. Anyway, with that, this video's a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on Nintendo doing more remakes in the comments. Do you think this would be good for padding the number of releases throughout the year? And which remakes would you like to see yourself? As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.